Hello, great to be with you. We're here in Stratford at the London Stadium, a ground built originally for the Olympics in 2012. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's West Ham United, and they take on Arsenal. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Number 20, Jared Bowen. Number 8, Pablo. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. Good game. Thanks. Good game. Good. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Aaron Ramsdale is the goalkeeper. Granit Xhaka plays alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And leading the line today, Alexandre Lacazette. Thanks for attending today's game at the London Stadium. And the game begins. And he's got the beating of his opponent. Space and time for the cross. And they'll get ready for the throw in. That's not a bad ball. Well, in fact, a bit too close to the goalkeeper. And that was always going to be claimed. And it will be an Arsenal free kick. Losing possession a bit easily. Vladimir Kuval. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Delivering it into the box. Now the attack will peter out. Keeper's ball. Suchek, opportunity to deliver the cross, vital interception, the danger was very real. Granit Xhaka. Martin Odegaard. Albert Sambi Lokonga. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Xhaka. Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. It's a short corner. Cutting the ball back. Has a go body on the line superb effort to keep it in Issa Diop promising looking attack from West Ham and he takes it on and he got to it fairly easily Arsenal have given it away. 
Now he must favour the cross. He made it look simple, really. Lacazette. Jacker with it. Martinelli. And he was in the right place to intercept. Lanzini. Well, not hard to read that pass. Well, as you can see, it's been really tight and neither side has taken enough risk going forward. Hopefully that will change soon and then we might get some entertainment. Martin Odegaard and the forward run by Lacazette with the ball at his feet. He has options around him. Oh, did so well to deny him. Taken short. A decisive clearance it was. Marcinelli. Lacazette! Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Eccentric goalkeeping. Xhaka. And the cross into the middle. Well, nothing comes of it. Xhaka. Marcinelli. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, they won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. And so it is, the first half story has been written. On a more than satisfactory first half showing from Martin Odegaard, sum up his performance for us. Well, he certainly had an impact on that first half, scoring that late goal, but I thought his overall contribution was really good and he got better as the half wore on. Arsenal with the lead going into this second half, but no room for complacency. Lacazette. Decent position. Here's Cedric. Now Lacazette. Losing possession a bit easily. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Jared Bowen will it happen for them not getting anxious when they have the ball Suchek for Niles Lanzini closing down well and touched onto the frame of the goal well that was a great save but the way they're playing at the moment, the equaliser can't be far away now. Lacazette. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. Suchek. Lanzini. And here's Fornals. Well, let's see about the cross. And the problem not completely solved. Well, that's the end of that for now. Tavash. 
Jacker with it. Lanzini. Antonio. Rice. Well, diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Well, it's been a while, but these fans are now coming to life. Can they equalise here? So a personnel change then. And over comes the corner. And clearing is away. And the cross goes in. And it might have made life difficult for the keeper, but that's a strong punch. Slipshot passing. Well, it's a poor tackle. Lokonga. Alert defending. Well, these West Ham fans can sense an equaliser coming here, but can the players respond? Antonio. And making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. Cedric Saka now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one Martin Odegaard now he must favour the cross on and on he goes for Niles Well, with five minutes remaining and just one goal between them, still the prospect of late excitement in this match. Nuno Tavares. Getting forward, but nothing comes of it. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. Antonio. Well, still time for them to level it. On the ball, Mikael Antonio. And space for the cross. Well, not cleared away completely. Fred. And that is going to be that. The referee blows the whistle and it brings this game to an end. Disappointment, you've got to say, for West Ham. Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is they bounce back now and they can't afford a repeat performance. Well, a good performance as usual from Martin Odegaard. How would you sum up his contribution? Well, he gave them a really hard time, didn't he? His speed of thought was excellent and he took the winning goal so well. He was brilliant today. Jacques